I'm at Food Ingredients Asia speaking with Florian and Erasmus from Lanxis. Florian, what are you exhibiting here this week? Uh, actually, we're exhibiting the Valkorene technology, which is basically um, a cold sterilization agent, how we call it, um, for beverages, so for soft drinks as well as for alcoholic products like alcohol mixed products and uh, wine. Okay, and how does the, the technology work and what dosage do your customers have to use it? Um, so basically, um, of course, beverage producers facing a lot of microbial hurdles, like they have yeast, mold, bacteria, contamination and so of course they want to avoid that these um, this, that these uh, contaminations end up in the final product so they're looking for alternatives to kill these microbes mm. and vacuum basically um, uh, stops the metabolism of these microorganisms so basically they die they, they starve to death okay. and um, so that in the end you have a completely microbial free product no yeast no mold no bacteria inside so that in that moment when the consumer goes to the supermarket and buys the juice that he can be sure that this product is free of any sort of contamination so that is no health risk okay and for your customers what are the dangers of these microorganisms in beverages I mean, obviously, it's mm. from contamination and what, what are you trying to, what problem are you trying so there to solve? Are, let's say there are several issues that they can have. First of all, of course, um, the flavor of a beverage. So depending on the sort of contamination they have, um, it can create off flavors. So simply spoken, the consumer tastes a product and it tastes awful. Mm. So they simply throw it away. Another thing is, um, depending also on the packaging, uh, especially what we also face in the wine industry. Um, so also wineries using their green for their for their products um, is pressure build up, especially when they have yeast, uh, remaining yeast in their product. So of course when yeast um, remains in the product, it forms CO2, so we have a pressure build up in the bottle. And of course the worst case is, imagine somebody is going to the supermarket, takes out a bottle of wine from the shelf, and at that moment that glass bottle explodes because of over pressure, because of a contamination in the bottle. It's maybe just one bottle that explodes, but that consumer yeah, yeah. might got damaged, and this is like the worst case for beverage producer. Sure. So they are looking for, for options to avoid that kind of contamination. Okay, and so Erasmus, at what, at what stage is the ingredient added to the beverage in the production process? Is it just before being bottled, or yes, when is it going? correct. That's already the right uh, comment or the right idea. It has to be added right before bottling because if you add it earlier than that, it will start disappearing or will have disappeared before it even can function on uh, killing the microorganisms. So indeed, it's added right before bottling and for doing that, in the background, we have a dosing pump exhibited today. Uh, so the visitors of this fair can see how the dosing pump works and uh, see real life what the machine looks like. Okay, and are you seeing uh, the ingredient used in different kind of beverages? In recent years or new types of beverages? Yes, what kind uh, of? that's also exactly what we see indeed. Uh, you know, it's one of the nice things in the beverage industry is that you see many th new things coming up. And uh, the innovation never stops in beverage. Uh, we have seen carbonated coffee, which sounds not that exciting, to, I don't know, peanut flavored beer types, which sounds more innovative. And all these people developing new beverage come to us at some stage or may come, may come to us and ask us, uh, can we bottle that with their career? Okay. And one final question going forward with all these innovations, how important is the Asia-Pacific market for Lanxess going forward? Uh, I would say very important. Um, you can see it especially by what we did uh, over the last two years. So um, we actually strengthened our positioning here in the market by opening up um, a hub only for Val Green here in, in Thailand, basically, to be able to react to um, the queries that we get from the Southeast Asian market extremely fast. If you would do it from Germany or from somewhere else, it doesn't work. But here in Bangkok, uh, we have now two employees solely working for Valkyrie so that we have a quick reaction time to all upcoming inquiries for trials, for industrial production, etc. etc. So you just have to imagine in the Southeast Asian markets, hundreds of million people live here and they all want to drink beverages in one way or the other. So, of course, for us, the market is very, very important and therefore also we strengthened here the position by opening up that top here in Thailand. Okay, well, we look forward to finding out more. Thanks for joining me. Thank you very much.